What's going on YouTube? Just a concert review for you. Uh, and a little editorial piece. Um, Sunday night would have been September 25th. I saw the Beach Boys in Alabama in Wichita, Kansas. Beach Boys were opening up. Alabama was headlining. Now, the Beach Boys currently are Mike Love, original member, founding member, uh, Bruce Johnston, who has been a mainstay since about 1965. So, you know, give him street cred for being almost an original member. And the rest of them are hired guns by Mike Love because I'm not sure. Um, well, I know why. It's because for some reason there's bad blood between Mike, Brian Wilson, and Al Jardine. Anyway, um, and they opened up for Alabama, which is currently Randy Owen and Teddy Gentry. Jeff Cook is in the, uh, in the hospital where he's recovering from Parkinson's disease. Uh, recovering might be putting it optimistically, but what the heck? If you can't be optimistic, what can you do? Um, and Mark Herndon, the drummer, is no longer with the band because of... Yeah, we'll leave that to speculation, too. I think there was some uh, legal disputes, some... Uh, basically, what I heard was this. They paid him too much money, asked for it back. He said, no, you know, you, you paid me. You need to do your own accounting before you cut the checks. And so they said, okay, you're no longer in the band. I don't know if that's true or not. That's just what I heard. Um, but aside from all that, if you can get past the fact that these bands that have been around for in Alabama's case, 40 years, in the Beach Boys' case, 60 years. Uh, if you can get past the idea that you're basically seeing a tribute band that might have one or two original members, um, and you can just go and enjoy the music and sit back and close your eyes and remember when. Let me tell you what, it's a trip. It's good stuff. It'll bring a tear to your eye. It'll bring a tear to a glass eye. You can't not listen to Beach Boys music and have fun. Fun, fun, fun till your daddy takes a T-bird away. And let me tell you something. When Alabama took the stage, um, they were just, they were awesome. Um... I didn't know how I'd feel about going to the concert with the drummer no, no longer welcome in the band. But, you know, sometimes you just got to put that aside for a minute. Um, and, you know, if you want to. If you want to be bitter about it, I guess that's your right. Um, but the songs were phenomenal. The songs, man, they took me back to when I was a young kid. To when I, I mean, I grew up on this music. And you can't not hear, you, know, you can't hear a song from your childhood and it not, and it not jog some kind of memory, whether that's good or bad. I've got to be honest, when Alabama came on, I got a little misty eyed and cried through most of it. I'll put their set list in the description if I can fit all that in there. It might be in the comments, but I tell you what, it was just a magical night, and I'm so glad that I got to see this, this show. Because, let's face it, uh, brand name or not, these bands won't be along for very much longer. So, that's my video. If you're one of the people that can get past the fact that there's people that aren't there, go have yourself a great time. If it bothers you that much that certain members of the band are not 
in the band either because of illness or because somebody's not welcome, then I would I would strongly encourage you because uh, I get it. I know what it's like. Don Felder not being in the Eagles bugs me still to this day. Um, but if that's if that's if that's a deal breaker for you, then at least listen to the music. Remember when and. Uh, let it let it touch your soul. That's my video. Y'all have a good day. Uh, yeah. Anyway, talk to you soon.